somewhere between the Ordovician and Silurian periods, a new group of fish evolved known as the Nathostomes. This group probably owes much of its origin to a duplication of the genome so that there were additional genes which could be modified following this duplication event. So, these nathostomes, which have given rise to vertebrates as diverse as sharks and humans alive today, these are known as the jawed vertebrates because one of the greatest changes in this lineage was the modification of the gill arches which were already there. The jawless vertebrates possess a series of cartilage bars in the pharyngeal arches around the gills. The first pair of uh, these arches moved to become the palatoquadrate and Meckel's cartilage forming the upper and lower jaws of these jawed vertebrates. A second arch became the hyomandibula, which would support the first arch. And so it was that the migration and modification, perhaps after this genome duplication event, of the gill arches, which were already there, gave the jawed vertebrates their jaws. Nathostomes share a number of other skeletal features which evolved in the early nathostomes. A piece of cartilage under the brain, known as the parasphenoid, contributes to the sphenoid bone in humans. The neural arches above the notochord were ossified, converted to bone, and these compose parts of the vertebrae in advanced jawed vertebrates. The pectoral girdle around the pectoral fin included a bony element known as the scapulocoracoid, which was later modified to form the scapula and coracoid bones in the shoulder girdle or pectoral girdle of the early amphibians. Speaking of girdles, the nathostomes were the first fish to evolve the pelvic girdle and pelvic fin, which the early amphibians would modify to become the hip and leg of the tetrapods. After the placoderm lineage diverged from the remainder of the nathostome family tree, the ancestors of nathostomes as diverse as sharks and humans evolved a few additional features, such as true teeth with enamel and dentin. No vertebrate had possessed true teeth prior to this. In addition, a hyoid arch coming from the cartilage around the gill arches, the otic capsule which will surround the ear, and an occipital region in the back of the skull, including an occipital condyle and a foramen magnum for the spinal cord. These are all elements of the skeletal system which the ancestors of sharks and humans evolved.